Hey everyone, it's Fickerman, and we're back with episode two in Red Solstice. And uh, last time we did the very start of the single player campaign, and what we were doing was uh, we'd been sent here to this colony. The uh, We're looking for the CEO, uh, John Erebus of Elysium Corporation. Because there's something going on here. There's uh, signs of a stroll virus loose inside the colony. The most dangerous virus ever known to humanity that decimated the earth. And so we are going in there to find this guy. Figure out what is going on. Now uh, in this mission it's the first time where we can customize our squad. So as you can see each person here. Uh, we have skills that we can choose as well as weapons. There's not a whole lot of options here at the beginning. Oh, we do have an attack speed booster. May as well do that. And yeah, only one primary weapon. You can choose between... I guess... You can have this as a uh, secondary as well. I guess because it, uh, yeah, you have ammunition that's different. Uh, basically, the hollow point is good against non-armored stuff. And then full metal jack is good against armored things. I think we're mostly going to be facing those weird plague zombie things. So we'll stick with the hollow point. And then we can choose our skills and uh, and we also have stat points up here that we can level up for our characters so this is our main guy and yeah we only have the one suit okay put that back on okay so you can upgrade Health, armor, speed, HP, regeneration, armor, regeneration, uh, resistance, percentage of damage taken that is absorbed by armor, uh, ailment, resistance, and evade. Uh, and then we have a bunch of other options here as well for our skills. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, I think I'll leave the main guy's stuff the same give him a bit of armor and health as well as some evade and damage seems to be good and for this guy I think what I'm gonna do is Oops, there we go. Uh, we'll stick with hollow point, I think. But let's see, I'm going to have him focus on doing a lot of damage with his guns, I think. Uh, precise fire when standing and shooting gives damage and critical when moving gives bonus to survival. Okay, and then we're going to do damage and attack speed and reload time. This guy... I think we are going to give him sort of like explosions and stuff. So we've got grenades. We're going to level that up a bit. Hans's heavy weapon damage, attack speed, and reload time. I'm not sure if the grenade launcher counts as a heavy weapon. I would imagine so. We won't give him that booster. This guy, I'm giving him vision. 
Uh, so he can see creatures in the dark. And... We'll give him the gar and the gar. So he will have both types of ammunition because the way this works is secondary weapon always uses the opposite ammunition of what your primary weapon is. So we've got, uh, yeah, let's give him speed and maybe a little bit of evade. Seems to make some sense. We've got a bit more energy left. I'm going to give him some combat stimulants and maybe the first level of grenade stuff. I guess, no, we won't even use this. Uh, let's do precise fire. Okay, so that's, well, we haven't uh, gave, given him things. I'm going to increase reload time for him, or decrease it, because he's using uh, grenade launcher. Makes some sense. So we got to find a way into the bunker in which Sarah's activation terminal is located. That's our AI thing. Collapse swarm nests using resonators. So Marines have adaptive systems bonus if they're holding positions. Uh, that will give you, I think, bonus defense and stuff like that. Use the resonators to collapse swarm nests and position yourself tactically. Don't rush. Use your team to revive squad mates should they get incapacitated. Okay. So here we go. The colony database an admin console in the northeast of transport. Center. So this this mission is a pretty good introduction to the fact that you're gonna have to work with your squad. And it introduces kinda using items and things like that. So uh let's turn this on. And these ammunition supplies, you can see the circle. When you activate it, people in the circle will get uh, refills on their ammunition. There was another explosion last week not far from Elysium headquarters. Colony Psych believes it might have been a misfire. They think the bomb went off before reaching its target. The site didn't store anything of any particular importance and was largely a civilian dwelling. Of course, that didn't bode well for the families of the loved ones who died in the attack. It does, however, allow Tharsis admin to paint this would-be insurgency as a menace rather than a group of freedom fighters. We're not entirely sure what the insurgents want. I've yet to place any demands in their few months in operation, but we can only assume they know about us working on the virus. This raises two immediate issues. How do they know about the virus and its presence on Mars? And if they do know, why would they risk contaminating the colony by attacking the facility? What good would an outbreak do for Tharsis? What good would it do for the insurgency? That seems to stand to reason. All right, here we go. We'll need to blow up these barricades with the satchels we found. Stay back while I place the explosives. Okay, so now we have uh, items that we can use. Then we can hit G to detonate. So, uh, yeah, we have inventory. Each character has an inventory. So, as we go, we will have to balance the stuff that each character is carrying and remember who has what. All right, so now we've got to uh, Move it, Marine. Okay, so it's given us locations. We're just about out of sort of the tutorial stuff. All right, we've got our squad mates going into positions. Alright, so we need to find a resonator. We're gonna leave the squad there to keep them at bay. And then we are gonna have to do some fighting here. 
And here we go. Seismic resonator. Alright, so we are gonna go in. And then we use the resonator. Get ourselves out of here. And just like the other ones, we hit G to detonate. Okay. And there we go. So now we're going to uh, continue. Got another blockade, it looks like. Oh, okay, here we go. So yeah, this little thing will show us where to go to blow those things up. Uh, this point on onward, we will not be guided in such detail. Use tactical mode and adaptive defenses. So what we're going to do is uh, position the old squad. In fact, I want you to go here. I want you to go there. There we go. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to do it. Now I'm gonna use my thingy. It's gonna show me that there's actually a resonator over here. We're gonna go pick that up because we are gonna need it, I think. And I'll forget it's there. You can do this. It has a limit of a hundred times, but I think it's very unlikely you'll need to use all those. So now we are going to go and try to close the thingy. Where is it at? Still a ways down. So we, at this point, we'll want to advance the squad. So I'll cover them as they come forward. Now I will go forward, try to uh, okay, looks like we've still got a little ways to go, and we need to advance, advance these two guys. gonna position myself here and then this guy um, we'll do that and you are ready to level up you're gonna come up to where I am whoo there we go Come on, man. All right. Seismic thingy planted. Run back. Detonate. Okay, let's see if there's anything around here. Appears not to be. All right. Got some ammo. It's not particularly useful since we have an ammo resupply thing here. Okay. Let's keep going then. Up. 
There we go. Okay, what do we have here? Medical supplies. Oh, here's some satchels. We will need those. Let's use our thing. Don't see anything around here. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. All right, kill these guys. Uh, we should probably use the thing again. And yes, there is one right there. So let's do a resupply. And let's look here to see. Uh, looks like we have barricades. Here and gonna do something like this. Got that thing taken out. Blow up the barricades. Whoops. Uh, this is what I want, actually. Can we not, uh, yeah. There we go. Going to need another. Everybody, let's go. Someone is broadcasting from Narsis. Seems insurgents have their own comm system online. The broadcaster constantly spoke of him. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, we've got another one of those things here. Let us position the squad. Do I have resonators? Yes. Let's take this thing out first. All right, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Blow it up. Okay. You come up here. Got a resonator here. We need to get that. Okay, get back to this team. It's like a power station. Let's turn that on and see what happens. Let's Probably see. just lights in here, right? Okay. Let's move. So now I think we can continue.
we can turn on the lights here. Toxic canisters. Okay, we do have something active here. Let's uh, position the squad. Oh, whoop, not me. Position the squad here on the barricade. And let's see. Got a resonator here. Energy battery, pick that up. And yes, don't forget this. All right, get another level. And let's go for the stroll thingy. It's up ahead, let's position ourselves. It's not a barricade, is it? Ooh, buddy. Okay. Now. I'm gonna position these folks here. the thingy. Okay, looks like we do want to go inside. Bring in the squad. I think that gave us some vision. Okay, get out, get out, get out. One more tunnel down. Excellent. So I think we're all good here. There's an energy battery. Let's bring in the squad. We'll do an ammo recharge. All right, we all good. Okay, so let's progress. So I think we want to head out. Yeah. And you see at the top, it's telling me if, if there are any of those tunnels in range here. Then I can use the detector thing to find them. Let's move, let's move. Move in green. Blow them up. Okay. So we want to position the squad here. I guess we use the barricade both ways. I can't believe insurgents actually turned the colony into a virus hellhole. 
Alrighty, so Blood Hunter, interesting. Ugh, come on. There. Blow it up. Energy battery there. Let's grab that. And our primary objective is up this way. Do we have to go through the building or do we go through here? squad let's go oh okay I guess we do got to go through the building or maybe that way yeah I guess you follow the arrows okay we got our resonator over here, we are going to need that because there are two more swarm tunnels left. We only have one resonator at the moment. Whoa, buddy. Positioning. Okay, let's see where they are. Up this way. Have you pop up there? And Smith. Why don't you go up there? over here yet. Come up this way. Have you move up there? You can move up there. Smith. We are going to advance. Okay. Now, Brian, advance to here. Sam, head this way. Almost there. Smith. It's all about those uh, covered advancements. And we are set to place this thing. And that's the last one there, so have Sam come up this way 
and that looks like a nice spot there. Sam Smith. And we'll place our thing. Alright, we're in. Now, probably a good idea to do that. Why don't you go pull the power switch? You go ahead and cover that. All right, we've got power here. Repair that turret. Let's move. Let's move. Hmm. Okay. Security Reconnaissance Administrator AI, or what people now affectionately call Sarah, there you go, Security Reconnaissance Administrator A. We'll be undergoing much needed maintenance. She's never let us down, but given the age of her central processing unit, admin figured it was time to upgrade in light of the colony's recent activities. Like most things in around Sars Tharsis, Sars' origin lies on Earth. She was originally created to update and accompany those quarantined during the initial outbreak, but Sarah has proved efficient to a fault. She often hampers our ability to conduct experiments using the virus. She would treat research scientists like the infected, locking them in facilities. So we started to feel okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate this. Hell, those things are coming. Keep the control room clear until AI gets online. We need that lockdown. Okay, I'm gonna position you here. So that's why I repaired those turrets. I don't think anything is going to spawn in here, come in another direction. Yeah, I don't think there's any other entrances. So we'll just hold these positions. And just another... 10 seconds or so. Alright, I'm gonna go in. I'm not sure why we didn't do this first, but. Eh, whatever. Here we go. Sergeant Tyler Hunt of Special Forces Unit Black She Rider. knows who I am. Tharsis Colony's Security and Reconnaissance Administrator, Sarah. How can I help you? What's going on around here? Starters, tell me what happened here. <laughs> Unable to reply. Internal memory damage prevents access to majority of colony systems. Yeah, that's what I expected. Can you at least show me the way to John Erebus? Acquiring location. Target's transponder located in industrial sector. Side note, secondary unit blacklight transponder also located in the area. Huh. Those are our guys. Patch me through. So we got another team over there. Sarah's been activated and linked to another blacklight or unit blacklight established. 
Okay, well that's the uh, the mission. As you can see, things are considerably more interesting than the last one where we had only a few mechanics. And I've actually not played Mission 3, so when we come back for that, we'll be experiencing it all for the first time together. So, we will see you in the next video.